Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? We have our boy absolutely figuring out a way around this crazy opponent and pretty much making it look easy after that, man. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. He was struggling quite a bit, and I like that about the show. Give us stuff to make us worry about the character instead of just giving him a free W every time we kind of see him on screen. Because at the end of the day, we know for a fact there should be stronger people out there, right? Like, there should be a way for us to um, have this character doing these powerful things, but at the same time... Um, give us the notion that we're going to be seeing uh, quite a bit more of his power either not only fluctuate and get it greater, but likely to see him find a way um, to make his teammates stronger. Um, this whole entire episode of the sensei really coming to terms about what she can do and not running away from everything that she could run from also gives me a lot of hope for um, just the cast in general to not be too useless. Um, someone like the sensei who isn't really supposed to be a fighter is still willing to go out of her way and fight for students and fight for things on side she doesn't know is good or bad and to honestly see our guy destroy this angel after what it felt like forever to not only get to this part but to really see what they were going to do in the fight like was the fight going to be mainly our main guy losing was it going to be him you know beating beating booty like what was it going to be and ultimately, it was in the middle until he really figured out, like, what he wanted to do. As soon as he figured out, like, oh, I'm about to not only just continuously hit one spot on this sword of hers, she hasn't even realized that it's probably cracked. And that was the one thing needed to change the tie of the battle completely. And that's the type of stuff I love to see with this show. Give me things that I pretty much expect, but at the end of the day, do it in a way that I didn't see coming at times. Like, I didn't see him just blasting his guns through those portals and it teleporting over to the person he's trying to pretty much take care of, right? Like, I did not see that coming. And when he does it, I'm just like, oh, you're done, though. You... <laughs> Not only is he using like a 50 cal sniper rifle with one arm and just everything was so badass about this episode. But at the end of the day, the worst part was the ending. Uh, when I say worst, I just mean like it was pretty jacked up with how they treated the students, uh, getting on their good sides and pretty much allowing themselves to drop their guard, even though. Um, they just had an honest discussion of, yo, we should keep our guard up. <laughs> like, why would we need to keep our guard up? We're in the capital. It's like, because that's exactly why. The capital should have people that are more capable than just some normal farm village of farmers who could attack you at any time. Not only did they get, like, flashbanged, I'm very confused as to why the samurai girl wasn't stabbed like everybody else. Um, I get that she could have been more on guard than the others because she did try to warn them. But at the end of the day, she didn't really do much like to really make that a um, an op eye-opening thing that she defended herself, right? Like It just felt like she knew something was coming, and why didn't they push up on her as much as they pushed up on everybody else? I do not know. But at the end of the day, it is still very curious to know, like, where things are going to be headed. And I think this is a pretty telling sign. We've got a lot of dark stuff coming. So hopefully you guys are having an awesome one. And I'll talk to you later with some Phantoms in, or Platinums in, sorry, Phantom. 
And uh, if Shaman King comes out and I actually catch it, I will be talking about that as well. So take care and peace.